Hi guys, so this video is more on, well, how to deal with maybe people who don't like you. And I basically thought that this video would be very helpful because I mean, sometimes in life we don't, like people are like, oh, well, you know, I've never had a hater before, but sometimes in life people have haters and I just want to let you know basically it can it can be overwhelming it can like you could make sure like basically you could say that okay it doesn't bother me what he or she thinks about me it doesn't bother me whatsoever and you know you could be resilient and you know just pretend like okay like you know nothing is wrong and everything is fine but I have news for everybody including the strongest person and in general the nicest person that's me i feel i'm just very sweet and i'm kind and i love i love to be i i, lo I hate i honestly i try to avoid conflict as much as possible because that's just my personality like i would rather live in harmony for you know with lots of people but let's just face it sometimes you will come across people who just you know keep on wanting to throw jujus at you um so i'm more so going to share more so like some advice on how we can overcome these things and because that's the thing we could pretend like okay yeah I got this. I'm powerful. I'm strong. It doesn't bother me. I'm just going to ignore them. I'm just, And it's just going to become, you know, if you know that person doesn't like you and then you just start having anger and resentment because, you you know, you just basically find out, okay, like, I don't know what the heck I did, but why am I so angry? We have blocks in our body because we are human. We are human. We can pretend like we are super women all the time or super men. But deep, deep down, there's blockages in our body that catch that, that catch those feelings, those negative feelings, and they don't go away whatsoever. So, more so, how to deal with maybe a negative person in your life. I have basically learned from experience, from several experiences, that Oftentimes when someone, you know, tries to get beefy with you, automatically our automatic response is like we raise our voice, our heart starts pounding, you know, we may like say a couple words or curse words or whatever. We may even say something ungodly that we didn't mean to say. And something that I am going to say more so is, you know, what comes out of our mouths, it doesn't go anywhere whatsoever. It, it really doesn't. Like a lot, oftentimes people are like, okay, words are just words, but they're not. They're not. Like words definitely go somewhere and words can, are so powerful, so powerful. Um, so more so how to deal with negative people in your life. Honestly, guys, just don't even stoop down to that person's level. Another thing that I'm also going to say is we need to change the perspective of how we actually look at that person. Because whether that person is at school or is a family member of yours or is a coworker of yours, we really need to look down and basically think, okay, like, who exactly is this person? Like maybe this person, you know, is possibly like, you know, has been hurt somewhere in life to where they feel like it is right and it is just, just to treat other people like crap. And maybe that's just their way of communicating at that point. But we're not used to that. And that's something that they are because like, Oftentimes, you know, remember everybody is is born pure. Everybody has, you know, a heart of gold. Like imagine ourselves as children, how innocent and carefree we are. And sometimes it takes traumas of whatever 
that can change that perspective, that can make us feel insecure about ourselves, that, you know, and that, that stuff happens, guys, and it does change people, and it can tear down people and give people negative perspectives on life. So, more so, I'm laying my heart out here, we have to lay, we have to choose love in this circumstance. We really do. Because when we choose love and choose to give grace to even the people who try to hurt us and harm us and degrade us, when we give grace to those people, in return, that could be something that maybe they were missing in their life. That could be something that could help them realize. But also, guys, here's something else. Don't expect to change that person because that person is not going to change unless they choose to change. However, guys, we can pray for them. We can be kind to them. We can, you know, be graceful to them and say polite things. Because, guys, I will tell you, it, it takes so much energy just to be mean to somebody. It really does. Like, when I have to go out of my way and be mean to somebody, I feel terrible. It ruins my whole day. Call me, like, I'm just the sweet girl, you know, but the way I look at it is, can you imagine that person who goes out of their way to be mean because they feel like they have to? Can you imagine what that feeling feels like? If it hurts for me just to do it one time, can you imagine how that, what those feelings are that that other person carries and they do it every single day? That's what I'm saying, guys. We need to pray. We need to pray for those people who, who sometimes reflect negative energies on us or maybe, you know, they are, you know, attacking you or things like that. Like, we need to be graceful for those people because they need prayer and maybe they need maybe we need to be their light in their life like i said we can't change them but we can certainly be that light that they need in that in their life certainly we can go out of our way and be kind because guess what guys it does not take a lot to be kind it does not that is something that god has you know helped all of us do is you know the actual we're humans and we love to love and we love to have friendships and bonds and compassions and conversations and honestly guys sometimes when you even just sit and have a conversation with people who you think have it out for you you will learn so much about them you really will but yeah that's more so what I wanted to share was just share grace Let's share grace with, with the people who sometimes hurt us. Because when we share grace, we're, we're living by God at that point. And we're showing those people who maybe aren't as graceful to us that there is more to life and there is a light. And we could be introducing that part that maybe they were missing this whole time. All right. I just wanted to share because I, I think it's really important. And it's another thing that I want to say is, you know, God, he, he is just amazing. He really is. And sometimes those trials and tribulations, we wonder why they happen sometimes. But sometimes I believe that God brings those people in our lives to help us learn more about ourselves, to help us learn more of, okay, like maybe I do need to fix this. Maybe I, I do need to be more resilient in my life than the way I have been. Another thing, guys, one last thing of advice, it's not all about us. Let's just not even, the moment somebody tries to attack us and we start feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm being attacked and you just start becoming the victim at that point in a certain situation. That's when pain really starts happening and you don't want that for yourself and it's not healthy for you. It's not healthy for your people. It's not healthy for your community. 
It's not. So let's be graceful. Let's start today and be graceful to others. Even the ones who can't seem to give us grace. But in return, let's just give them grace. Let's pray for them. Let's love them. Let's support them. Because guess what? They need our support. And we could be that difference in their lives. You never know. You never know. That's all I wanted to say, guys. All right, thanks. All right, bye.